VIP. Let's kick it. Hey, this is Jim. I'm here doing my first tutorial. I'm going to demonstrate how to use a program called Microsoft Ice. Microsoft Ice is Microsoft's free image composite editing software. Uh, better than anything I've been able to find on the internet for any other platform. Free, purchased, whatever. Uh, amazing piece of work. I use it all the time. I love to make panoramic. So let's get started. This is going to be very rough, so bear with me, okay? Thanks. All right, I have some images that I copied over from a little $80 12 megapixel Casio camera. Uh, these are pictures that I took in the Bahamas uh, a few weeks ago. Um, the ones here, here's, this is the one that I'm going to stitch together into a large composite image. This is just a photograph that I took from the side of the ship. Um, of the Monarch of the Seas, which is a, um, a Royal Caribbean ship. I'm going to go ahead and, and flip through the images as a sequence so you can get an idea of, of what I've done here. Now, notice this. I started the, at the bow of the ship so that I capture the entire tip of the ship. And I, give a, I begin to do a sweep towards the rear. So I begin by selecting the first image in the sequence then I hold the shift key down and I, I click on the last image in the sequence. Now, as you can see, it highlights all of the pictures in between. So I can right click now and I have an option to stitch the images. I left click on that and I wait for ICE to initialize and show up on my screen. Now what it's going to do automatically is read in the source images and it's going to go ahead and do a stitch. Uh, as you can see, the composite process has completed and it has stitched nine images, taking uh, in a series of right to left and up and down, and it stitched them into one contiguous image. I'm going to go ahead and do a crop. I'm going to do an automatic crop. As you can see, it changes the borders of what the picture will finally be. This is the size and shape of the final image that's going to be uh, saved to my hard drive. Um, it brings it down into a into a square shot instead of one that has a, an odd shape with a bunch of gray. Alright, at this point the last thing to do is decide how do I want my final image to be scale wise. Uh, it's presently set to 2160 by 1651 um, approximating a 3.4 megapixel image. Uh, I can change this to 100% scale. Huge image like a poster. 5799, excuse me, 5759 by 4404 at a 24.9 megapixel. Huge image. Really not usable uh, unless you're going to output you know one of your composites to um, a post literally a poster size so I'm gonna drop it back about 50% to a 6 megapixel image it's still gonna be beautiful if you want to use it as a double uh, display image or something plenty of size for that uh, I'm gonna now click the export button on the right hand side of the screen it's gonna ask me where do I want to save the image and what do I want to call the image for the purposes of this test I'm gonna save it to my desktop and I'm going to call this one uh, RCCL Composite. And I'm going to save. Okay, we will wait for it to save. And uh, when it's finished, we'll take a peek at it. Okay, so our composite image has saved. I'm going to go ahead and close the Microsoft Image Composite Editing application. I'm going to discard the project and it takes us back to our desktop. So here's our uh, window containing our original series of, of images and over here on our desktop is our RCCL composite image. It's about 618k. I'll double click it to bring it up into my preview application 
And there we have it. A ginormous field of vision created from a series of nine images and seamlessly stitched together. 